Good morning to Soro and welcome to TNN. Today we're going to be talking about the Career Center, Dodgeball and Volleyball, so stay tuned. I'm Bella in the Drama Hall reporting for TNN and I'm here with Elise and Lindsay and we're here to talk about uh, Drama's upcoming production of Freaky Friday. So what have you guys been doing to prepare for this production? So we do this thing called rehearsing and we rehearse about three times a week. Thank you. Okay, awesome. And what have you guys done personally to contribute to this production? Hi, I'm the lead costume designer and I have been preparing a lot trying to get these actors to bring in their costumes because I give them inspo, tell them what they need to bring in, and if they don't have it, well, I figure it out because I just do that. Back to you, Lindsay. Hi, I'm Lindsay. I'm an assistant stage manager and basically I'm called to every single rehearsal and I take notes at every rehearsal and I'm in charge of one of the sides backstage. Okay, awesome you guys. I'm sure you guys are working really hard. And what is your favorite part about this production? <laughs> well, I really love it. I think it's so fun because we get to see these characters switch places, literally. Um, and I think these kids have been working so hard and you guys really deserve to see a great show. Amazing. And I'm sure this production is going to be great. So I encourage all of you guys to go see it uh, this spring. And I'm Bella from the Drama Hall reporting for TNN. And I'm Elise. That looks like a lot of drama. That looks like it's going to be a great show. It looks like Freaky Friday will be a good show. I'm Chase. I'm Ali. I'm Nick. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. I've, I know you probably already know this, Titans, but starting at 3.15 today, it is officially spring break. Enjoy a full week off of school and go visit some colleges or something like me. And when you get back, you can indulge in some volunteer work. Come to the Engage Fair on Monday, April 10th at the Sea County Country Community Center to learn more about volunteer opportunities and how to engage in them. And the best part about it is that it's totally free to attend. Wow, can't wait. The moment you've all been waiting for is finally here. Get ready for the final battle. Olu versus NYC Fools today at lunch in the big gym. Be there or be sad you missed it. Now for a break. Moni interviews Jake about Eagle Scouts. Let's check it out. I'm Moni with Jake L uh, in front of the Nature Trail. So Eagle must be very hard to attain as very few scouts actually make it. Uh, can you tell us more about your Eagle project? Yeah, so my Eagle Scout project was um, over there and I planted 70 plants you know, with my fellow scout uh, members. And it actually went pretty fast. We only had to do one shift and then we did um, Braden, my uh, Braden Corones project right after. So mm -hmm. it was pretty cool, 70 plants. You know, I'm glad I could help out um, the Soro. Uh, why do you choose the Soro as a beneficiary? Well, um, I did it for Mr. Tubbs because, you know, he's a cool teacher. He's actually my, bi my biology teacher, um, and, you know, he's a cool guy, and I think I, wanted, I really wanted to help him out, and I'm glad I was able to. From the Nature Trail, I'm Moni, reporting for TNN. Those are the best visuals I've seen all year. Those plants were really cool. Nature looks nice. That's all I have for my portion of the show. Now on to Allie with current events. <laughs> Thanks, Chase. FCA is having their Easter rescue of true events taking place today during lunch in room 210 with free pizza and fellowship included, so come on over. Also, juniors and seniors, all library fines must be paid and overdue books returned before purchasing prom tickets. Starting April 17th through 18th will be 60 with ASB card and 70 without ASB card. Speaking of prom, ASB announced the Mamma Mia, Here I Go Again prom theme. It's on May 6th at the Browser Museum at Santa Ana. Congrats to Arkansas Jazz Band, Choir, Synodic Band, and more that they all performed their Music of the Movies concert on Wednesday. Kate interviews Jacob about video production. 
I'm Kate in front of the video production room reporting for TMN. I'm here with Jacob, a senior in the video production class, here to find out a little bit more of an honest review on the elective. So, Jacob, what have you taken away from this class? I can, like, expand my creative thinking in using, like, editing videos and stuff and, like, um, putting my ideas to uh, the screen. That's really interesting. Jacob, what is your favorite project you've done in this class? I'd say my favorite project would be probably... Uh, the music video because I got to use one of my like favorite songs in there and then like we just kind of like put a lot of effort into it and it was fun. Awesome, I'd love to see that. And lastly, Jacob, what? Why do you advise future students to join this class? Because it's really fun, um, and you get to learn how to use um, editing software like that you probably wouldn't be able to use and expand your creative thinking. Awesome. Well, if I was a junior, I would have loved to join this class. I advise you all to join this class, and I'm glad we got a further look on the opinions of this class. Well, I'm Kate in front of the video production room reporting for TNN. I didn't know Jonah could do a handstand. I should have taken that class. It seems like a great class. That's all I have for a portion of my show. Now on to Nick with sports. Thanks, Allie. On Tuesday, the boys and girls swim teams went up against San Clemente High School in a competitive meet that came down to the last relay. Sadly, the boys team finished just short in the relay and did not get enough points to win the meet. The swim team hopes to redeem themselves after spring break when they have a meet against Capo. Good luck. The boys varsity golf team had a successful week with a win on Monday against San Clemente and yesterday with a win, with a win against a very impressive San Juan Hills team. So far this season, their teams are 9-0 and 3-0 in league. Keep up the good work, and good luck in your next, ma next match. The girls varsity lacrosse team had an intense matchup against Capo High School yesterday and won 16-9. They have now moved on to three straight wins are in, and are in first place in their league. Their next game is against Mission Viejo when we come back from spring break. Good luck and keep that win streak going. Kinner Kira interviewed Peyton on the softball team this week. Let's take a look. I'm Chase Krager by the Big T reporting for TNN. I'm here with Peyton Roberge, a member of Tesoro Softball, here to learn more about Tesoro Softball. Uh, so what is your best personal record? I would say my best personal record is holding the most hit by pitches of all time out here at Tesoro, which is eight in a season. Ouch! Who do you play next? We play La Habra this Saturday. Radical. And uh, when does your league start? Our league was supposed to start today, but unfortunately because of the rain, it's going to get pushed back to next week. California better get sunny pretty soon. Soros softball is currently at six wins, three losses, and one tie. Be sure to wish them luck when you see them in, your, in their jerseys. I'm Chase Krager, by the Big T reporting for TNN. Uh, that wasn't Kira, but let's take a look at Coach Poston giving us a special insider on the dodgeball teams. What's up, Tesoro? It's Coach Poston bringing you my annual dodgeball report on this year's uh, players and teams in the tournament. Uh, first of all, an individual award. Did you guys see Ryan Bach play? That dude took a ball right in the face. I mean, boom, blew him up. Glasses went flying and everything. Uh, Ryan, I hope your baseball season's going better than your dodgeball season did. That was an interesting play right there. Uh, speaking of baseball, let's talk about the team called Them. Or should this team really be called Team Mighty Mouse? Um, have you seen these guys? Fellas, you don't have to flex while you're playing dodgeball. It doesn't work out real well. And speaking of them, have these guys ever seen the sun? These guys are as white as the baseballs they play with. Uh, bringing me to another team, the Hoolies. Uh, that's Jake DeMond, Jake Frey, Remy Berzin, Nick Toole, Tristan Henton, and Jaden Allen. Guys, I got news for you. When Janelle is on your team and she's the best player, you're not going to last very long. Uh, bringing me to the next team, the Storm and Mormons. Did a really good job. I was surprised how well these guys did, especially considering they had two very large targets on their team. I'm actually surprised Harrison Einan was able to throw a ball and get anybody out, considering how many snaps he missed this last year in the football season. And hopefully Owen Hernandez is a better player than he was a referee in the dodgeball tournament because there's been several questionable calls. Next, that brings me to a team called the Munches. That's Pierce McMahon, DeMarco Love, Mason Wolf, Dylan Riley, Davis Tice, J.J. Corino, and Owen Burnside. 
this has to be the most underachieving team in the tournament. That team struck out quicker than DeMarco asking a girl out on a date for a Friday night. This team, I mean, Mason Wolf probably showed up in PJs. Uh, you have to communicate in dodgeball, and so Dylan Riley obviously was not a factor. Conversely, Pierce McMouth doesn't stop talking, so he was probably too busy running his mouth and actually playing. However, I am happy that Penelope allowed Owen Burnside to play, because we know who wears the pants in that relationship. Uh, and finally, Olu, a.k.a. the basketball team. This team looks more like a Backstreet Boys type team or some kind of uh, new kids on the block group than a dodgeball team. Uh, Blake Manning isn't even the best athlete in his current relationship. We all know Jacqueline's the much better athlete there. Uh, and Jake Bennett, that guy's gotten taken out more times than a bad guys in the new John Wick movie. Um, this team could be the one that gets it done, though, because I've heard Matthew Hanley is ready to be the predator, and I've also heard that Keegan Poston has an elite athlete as a father. So my pick's going to be Olu to win the championship tomorrow. Come out and check out the dodgeball game at lunch. Coach Poston, signing out. I love this man. I'm rooting for the NYC Foos today. Yeah. That's all I have for sports today. Now on to Chase to finish off the show. Now before I go, I lied. I'm not actually visiting any colleges. I'm ditching this cold, rainy state and I'm going on a Caribbean cruise. Why am I telling you this? Thanks for tuning in to TNN, your one and only source of Titan news. Shout out to my lovers and my haters and have a great spring break.